I can get that. We're here in the New Jersey Outback. Known for its wild wilderness and crucial conditions. So, as I was saying, the Outback is known for its crucial conditions and harsh climate. We're here in New Jersey talking to our very own Froggy <laughs> Hunter. I am Jeremiah Was a Bullfrog, and this is my lovely daughter, <laughs> wife, and daughter, Charlene. And over there is our son, Richard. Richard, come! Come here, Richard. Richard, come. Come, Richard. Come on. Good son. Sit down, son. Sit down. Richard, Richard, son, sit down. Well, our son does not like to lace them, but that's because he is going through his terrible tubes. I am a wilderness expert. And I'm going to take you on a journey through the wild and mountainous region of here. Are you still here? here? At home. Where there are frogs. <laughs> Now if I get in real close, I might be able to catch it. And I got it! Oh, she's a beauty! Come here, little froggy. Froggy, froggy! Okay. I'm gonna sit on the lily bed. Isn't she cute? My beard has gotten a bit more. <laughs> it's the trail of the snail. As you can see, the one frog has moved. But have we got the stone out back? This frog here has just winked at me, yeah. <laughs> which means that he accepts my presence. Let's see if I can catch him. Yes. <laughs> see here, this is the, oh yes, very rare yellow chin chameleon frog. Now since this is such a rare creature, I'm going to have to tell you that you cannot take this kind home and grill them. <laughs> you must return them to the wild. <laughs> See how he just sits there on the little pad? He enjoys it very much. Now, to take another look at this here special pond, you can see that there's a duck sitting here. Now, ducks can be rather mean creatures, but I will attempt to catch this duck. I got it. <laughs> yes, yeah, see, this is just a duckling. Feel the feathers, cameraman. They are very smooth, wouldn't you say? I would yeah, say so. Back now. Also in this pond, I can see traces of snails. Which means the snails are present because they lay their traces. For example, here is a snail right now. He is out of his shell and crawling around on this here rock. Let's see if I can make him crawl around on this here finger of mine. Yes. See, he is on this here finger. Now, since he is a creature of water, I'm going to... Oh, wait. By the way, 
This is, in fact, a gilled snail because the shell opens to the right. If it were a long snail, the shell would open to the left. Now we are going to place him back in the water where we found him and hope that he continues to leave a trace. Moving along, using my special froggy vision, which most people lack, I can tell that in this here region, there are tadpoles swimming through the water. But you, not having froggy vision, cannot tell that in this here region, there are tadpoles swimming through the water. I have found a duck in this here region with a sun hat on his here head. Very rare ducks who actually know how to put a sun hat on their heads. 